Hey, what is up guys? Gian here of GadgetPilipinas.net. Just in case you missed the video that uh, Asus posted today, they actually announced uh, a few new tough gaming monitors and this is just one of the monitors that they announced. This is the Asus Tough Gaming VG27AQ L1A. That's quite a mouthful, I know. But uh, yeah, this one actually, as according to them, this, this is also the reason why I bought it is this one supports 1440p resolution, also 130% sRGB for better color gamut and accuracy. And apart from that, meron din siya support up to 144 frames per second because this one has a screen refresh rate of 170 hertz. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to see if my experience would match my overall expectations of the VG27 AQ L1A, yes. And, you know, while Asus is one of the sponsors of this channel and also our website, I'll try to give them my constructive feedback about this uh, monitor right here uh, without any bias at all. I thought this is going to be the best way for me to show you if this monitor is the right fit for your needs. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you can subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys are aware if we have new videos in this channel. Now, in this review, we're going to follow a few methods that would allow us to describe um, the performance of the monitor and contrast that with the uh, specs and features that they are actually presenting to us. This will allow us to uh, validate and check the performance and I will do my best uh, that I can uh, to explain this to you in a way that is very much understandable. Now, for those of you nerds out there, I understand that some of you would love to see some numbers. I will try to present them as well. But if you really want a more comprehensive review, I encourage you guys to check out our website at GadgetPilipinas.net and our, also our friends in the industry. We have BackToGaming.net uh, and uh, also Unbox.ph. And if ever Jamoncheta would also have his own uh, review of this one you can go and check me out at jamonline.ph now speaking of methods our main benchmarking tool in order to check the color gamut and also the tone response saka yung brightness and contrast is uh, the spider x by data color uh, we're going to be getting some numbers or values there and we're going to contrast that with uh, the uh, specs uh, that is presented by ASUS on this monitor, the VG27 AQL1A. Now, apart from that, this one, uh, it also supports beyond 144 uh, hertz. Uh, therefore, I would love to check and see if this one, if I can play, uh, for instance, Hyperscape at beyond 144 frames per second. And uh, also, Art Survival Evolved. And I will also be playing uh, this game uh, on uh, this monitor uh, in order for me to see how the HDR would respond on uh, this monitor. Now let's proceed to setting a benchmark results using our benchmarking tool right here. In terms of uh, color gamut, uh, this is actually within the range of the advertised values uh, by ASUS. Uh, we were able to reach about 100% in sRGB. Now, when it comes to uh, the gamma, uh, the measured data is also within the range of both gamma 1.8 and gamma 2.2 values, which uh, is actually very good in terms of uh, tone accuracy. It actually is more accurate in uh, gamma 2.2, which is really fantastic. There are some games that actually support that, uh, but you know, at least I'm happy to note that this one actually is very good in that uh, aspect and within the range as advertised. And uh, the third one would be the brightness and contrast. And regarding that, the values are actually very impressive. Uh, uh, the brightness and also the contrast in uh, various uh, brightness level is consistent and is within the range of the advertised values by ASUS. Moving to 1440p gaming is uh, my direction as a consumer. And I've been always really uh, planning to move from 1080p to 1440p. Uh, it can really be a bit overwhelming at first because, you know, it feels a little wider. It feels, uh, the game feels bigger. Uh, you know, the screen real estate is huge. Uh, and coming from 1080p, this one is really, as you know, kind of really resonates for me. And I'm looking at actually replacing some of my monitors, uh, which 
only can go as high as 1080p. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think from someone who plays games and someone who also creates videos and edits videos, uh, moving from 1080p to 1440p is the way to go. And of course, you mix that with a price that does not go beyond 27,000 pesos and you get yourself a premium yet affordable monitor from a brand such as Asus. Now for gamers, you uh, get to experience uh, the higher chances of getting better at your game thanks to uh, the better frame rate uh, you get uh, for as long as your system supports it. And whether you're a professional or a casual gamer, this monitor actually has all the ingredients that you may need in order for you to enjoy your game. Now whether you're using an HDMI or a DP, uh, this one actually uh, offers quite a few uh, ports, or I.O. rather, to boot. Uh, this one has uh, support for HDMI 2.0. This one actually has two of those. And also display port of uh, 1.4. You can use your PC here. You can also use uh, your PlayStation 4 and also another Nintendo Switch. Pwede mo siyang isaksak actually sa lahat uh, ng ports that this one actually offers. Now, syempre, yun din kanyang color gamut and tone response. Um, I tried my, I tried actually uh, this one to edit videos using DaVinci Resolve. Okay na. I mean, it's uh, really still way better from the one I'm currently using right now. Um, and uh, that alone is a good step up no, from uh, what I've been experiencing so far. Um, and I can't wait actually to try this out as my main uh, monitor at home and at work. Now, at this point, let me focus my attention to you console gamers out there, but I'm looking at you uh, PlayStation 4 Pro owners. If you have a PC at home and you still also have a PlayStation 4 Pro at home, um, you can actually enjoy the HDR capabilities of this monitor. This one actually supports uh, the HDR of a PlayStation. You're given a choice here. If you wish to use a gaming HDR by Asus or Asus Cinema HDR. Now, in the case of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, I actually selected Asus Gaming HDR. And uh, as you can see here in my settings, if I go to options, uh, this can actually go, or there's actually HDR right here, which I can turn on and turn off. And supported TV. At first, I thought that this would not support, uh, but then it actually supports it and I'm very happy to see uh, the outcome of this game. I'm, I'm very, I'm so much engrossed with this game. Yes, I'm still playing uh, PC games, but so far I am really loving uh, the HDR um, capabilities of this monitor and also the game I'm playing. I'm really enjoying it so much and by far this is one of the affordable monitors out there that actually supports HDR at 1440p. Now, I, this is actually a PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, it's 4K downscaled to um, 1440p. So if I click this, it says here, HDMI 2, 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. So naka downscale lang siya. And uh, my game right now is currently set at uh, performance or high resolution mode in order for me to really enjoy the graphics of the game. And you know, as I mentioned, I, I really love the game. And with the PlayStation 5 just in the horizon, I mean, I'm, I can't wait because I know for a fact that this one is a future ready monitor. Uh, and for those of you, by the way, uh, who are actually into the game, you will really, you know, love playing Ghost of Tsushima on this monitor. Yes, no, you can actually swivel. You can put this up and down as low as this, and you can even swivel it. Uh, like this right and you can tilt it okay which is pretty nice but it's a little wobbly okay I, i've been shaking my table so much here and you can already see that it's wobbling wobbling too much and yeah i mean they could have reinforced it further but nevertheless it's fine now i also have a problem not a problem but i have an issue as well with uh, the uh, cable management. The cable management is, uh, sabi nila pa medyo pantamad ng konti, because there's no way for you to actually insert all the cables. Um, I mean, there's, wala siyang labasan eh, yung cable sa ilalim. So, I may be doing it wrong, but uh, if you already connected all the cables right here, you just loop it right there and you cover it with uh, this cable management, uh, you know, cover. And that's it. It's still dangling. Still pretty neat. 
but they could have you know designed it uh, differently i mean in my opinion this is also vesa uh, compatible so if you want to mount it you know that's fine no problem with that uh you can also tilt it like this although i have to be very careful because there let me just there you go so if you wanna use this like this we get we good <laughs> it can still be done now in terms of viewing angle uh i'm pretty impressed with this one this is an ips panel uh viewing angle is uh really good as expected Shepard with ex at extreme angles i would not anymore recommend <laughs> but uh ito almost kita nyo na, it's it's very uh good viewing angle Ano pag tinapat ko sa inyo? There you go. There. Okay. Let me clear na ng konti. Anyway, I mean, it's 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 really nice. Viewing angle is okay. Build and construction is just right. Although, as, as I mentioned, they could have, you know, uh, changed the design of some parts. Um, but, why would I complain? This one is a 27,000 word of a 1440p monitor. And that alone is actually a good thing. So what's my verdict with uh, this monitor? You know, buy it. I mean, you know, 27,000 can still be a little steep for some people because uh, some brands already offer below 20,000. But at, at the end of the day, before you even buy online, you may want to actually check first uh, the color accuracy because everything actually matters when it comes to that. Um, you know, some brands would tell you that this one offers 100%, but in the end, it only gives you about 80% sRGB. Um, those are just numbers, you would tell me, but at the end of the day, it would matter when you start playing games. But uh, also, another thing is that you have to also check on the brand that you're getting or the, the brand that is actually selling you the device. Um, Asus has been around uh, for quite some time now, and, uh, you know, uh, they have quite a robust uh, service center um, in the Philippines and I think uh, it's going to be a challenge for them uh, to really be better in terms of uh, rendering service to more consumers. Um, kasi nga, no, magaling sila sa ganito, so the pressure is on them to be better also in terms of service. And uh, with that, I would like to thank you guys no, for watching this video. Thank you so much. And I hope you actually enjoyed watching this kind of content. At naka, in a way, minatutunan kayo. No? And as I mentioned, if you guys are new to the channel, I would love it if you can subscribe. No? And also click that notification bell. And by the way, no, meron nga pa tayong uh, pwede maging giveaway for the month or maybe July or August. Um, but uh, we wish to be able to reach 50,000 subscribers uh, for the month of July. That is our goal uh, because alam naman natin, ang goal natin is to reach 100,000 for 2020 and hope uh, you will journey with us and uh, with that. Again, this has been GN of GadgetPilipinas.net. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.